not interrupt my experiment. Hey, how's it going guys? So I figured I would take a quick look at the whole wolf alpha pack sort of mechanic thing that they've introduced. Um, I'm going to do it the most basic and straightforward way that I possibly can, which is basically, here's a wolf. I'm going to gather the pack around, and there they are. And Okay, so to analyse it, what I figured I'm going to do is, because you can see there's lots of alphas and it's kind of strange. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab just one wolf, this one here, and I'm going to walk on down to the green obelisk that's nearby. When I get there, I'm going to basically bite a fish and take a note of the damage that it does. Then I'm going to come back and get the rest of the pack and go down as a pack and bite a fish and see the damage as then. And then hopefully if there's another thing that I can take on, we'll sort of take it on as a pack. Just to sort of see the difference between when you are one wolf on your own and when you have the pack with you as well. Uh, I can only imagine that's even that's strengthened even further by a mating bonus, but hey ho, let's have a look. Do not interrupt my experiment. Wolf does 66 to that one. Okay. So now I'll go back and get the rest of the pack. I've got a buff called Pack Leader, but that's it. Okay, so that's the rest of the pack for me. Close this up. I have a buff at the top right of my screen, which I know you can't see because I'm playing in bloody super wide. But it is there near the health bars and stuff that says pack leader. Okay, they all have plus four on them, all of them, so, now let's go bite a fish, do I do more damage, because the stats themselves don't go up, like, not on the, on the pain here, it still says, like, the default things, so, <laughs> yes, 158. I mean, let's go see about taking on this pig. Actually, before I do that. I just want to make sure that they're not all like on passive or whatever. I'm trapped in the other wolves. Yeah, so damn. So I guess then, my take on it, my logic is that a wolf on its own is a wolf on its own. You get a second wolf with it, and one of them becomes an alpha, and you get a plus one. Now that plus one is meh, plus one percent extra stats, plus one to its effective level. I don't know. Uh, no one else really seems to, so I mean, if you do, please leave a comment letting me know, because I can't find information online. I'm either being blind or it just doesn't exist. Um, anyway, you add another wolf, you get a plus two, another wolf, you get a plus three, another wolf, you get a plus four. When you add more past that, it seems to have capped out at plus four. I mean, I had seven in the pack here, and it was still just plus four, so... 
I think that's probably where it stops for wolves. I haven't tried it with aloes, although now I'm tempted to. Um, and it doesn't increase your stats as we saw on the pain, so I guess it's just a case of, you know, it's harder because it's harder. When you take into account that there's like a lot of them as well, that's of course more damage doing more damage. And if you had a mating bonus because one of them was the opposite gender to the other one, then you've got your pack leader damage buff with the plus four damage buff. The fact that there's all those teeth additionally to your own and the mated bonus on top. I can see why the most recent update has nerfed this a little. Because, yeah, I am. But there we go. That is my first look at it. My first impressions on it. If I learn anything else, I will either make an update video or something. Cheers for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one.